The thought just makes my skin crawl. Sure, she's found a solution, but it ain't exactly pleasant. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. I'm glad you did, Pilarty. I like you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. I'm actually not sure which I want to do. Like, obviously I don't like the way Spacer's Choice runs. I'm pretty sure that's just an intentional part of things at this stage. But I'm wondering to myself, how bad will it get before some of those people leave the town? How bad before if people go back to the town, they'll there'll be just as much misery. Because while Tobson told me he was willing to make amends, he put no terms on the table. None. So, I'm basically wondering, we have... The deserters, and we have Edgewater. If the power is cut to their respective place, how many people are going to be willing to leave one for the other? Specifically leave one for the other. So not like... Not like just go off on their own because I'd either become marauders or they'd die to marauders or just the elements. How many people would stay put without power until they literally ran out of resources and died? How many people, once they leave their respective point, how many of them will be better off? Like, a lot of the people in the deserters seemed happy to be there, but mostly because they felt like they were made out to be worthless in Edgewater. Edgewater had a house full of sick people they wouldn't treat, but still complained about not having enough workers. Is Spacer's Choice just going to sit back when they completely lose out on an area? Like, if I send them all to the deserters, is Spacer's Choice just going to send in some armed forces and just wipe the place out and start over? Or just, or just nuke it from orbit or something and consider the whole thing wiped of their hands? Because... 
because like I said in the last in the last episode or last stream whatever like I said before they basically have scurvy and the flu and such that is resulting in people getting this plague and like dying completely unnecessary deaths I I don't like McDevitt. She's like I like her as a character in a story because she's basically a psychopath kind of like myself. Obviously, I'm not going to kill people, but the fact that she literally doesn't see a corpse as anything more than like its base components bundled together, which is more or less what a psychopath like us would do, that makes me wonder just how far that goes into dealing with living humans. She has... She has gone out of her way to make the people where she is dislike the town that much more. Apparently, apparently the deserters have the option to go back. Otherwise, we wouldn't have this option anyway. Mr. Reed wouldn't have put it to us. If I put the power to Edgewater, do they necessarily have to stay with Spacer's Choice? Because, like, that's where they have most of their infrastructure and their defense against Marauders and Canids and so on. There's also Amelia at the bar. I still never helped her become a scientist. Sick person in the sick house. I never... Uh, I never cured them. Like, Pavardi made good points. Ah! It's... It's so bizarre how... how much more difficult this is now that I'm here. Like, I figured I'd have my mind made up by this point. And it feels... It really feels like the game really, really wants you to... to side with the deserters. What possible reason could there be to side with Edgewater? Like, it may get us points with Spacer's Choice if we need to, need to get by them or something. save, heart save. Read 
redirect, continue. Spacer's Choice Handguns, body counts at a discount. I just saw that. That's cute. long until this all happens again if I side with Edgewater? Hell, if I side with the deserters, how long until that starts breaking into factions? Like, who's to say Edgewater won't, like, violently retaliate at some point? You stole our power, you stole our workers, we're going to just start killing you until you until there's none of you that fight back anymore or something? Uh. can say what we want about her using corpses as fertilizer, but if it would increase profits, Spacer's Choice would do it in a heartbeat. I mean, they killed everyone here for insurance purposes. Alright. I can always do more playthroughs, but Taylor, in the moment, has to make a decision here. Damn it, it's just not that easy! One of the deserters I literally tried to rescue from raiders only to find out she was just gallivanting with the raiders all on her own anyway. If Spacer's Choice stops supporting the area, they're not going to get any more shipments of any materials. They don't have the infrastructure here to completely be on their own. Like, they're not going to be able to mine enough materials and everything, make their own ships and so on. At least I'm, I'm not believing they are. Could be that Terra 2 is a much bigger body than I'm giving, than I'm putting on, but it doesn't seem like it's quite, quite Earth size. tell you what, let's... No, I was about to say, let's just go bring Thomas's engineering book and everything, but... And then I started to change my mind, realized 
that it wasn't really going to be that simple. Got it. Inside voices. Did my tampering not affect? Oh. Security patrol initiated. Okay, so that does work that way. Okay, there's another entrance. Okay, so it doesn't look like I'm just going to be able to shoot out. Okay, so I was a little trigger happy there at the scene. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Guard. <laughs> Disarm security fences. Few recent rock. Re, re, recent rocks. Oh, I accidentally turned them back on? That's not what I wanted. Security logs inaccessible. Critically overdue. Date not found. Okay.
Right, I can just fast travel back here. Did I get you? I either got you or I didn't need to get you. Hello, friend. Okay, so frightened engineer. I cannot fast travel while encumbered. I can certainly go ahead and scrap this. Lock pick. Okay, so. That doesn't have the skill bonus. I've got two of these. Yes. Oh, wait. One of these gives me more to my physical skills, right? Body attributes. Okay. Now I can fast travel. Hello. Oh, just generic deserter. Okay. Hey, were you Sam? No, Stefan. Something I can help you with? Yeah, let's just trade. Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Okay. Alright, so I used... Uh, wow, I've got a lot of Adreno, okay? Okay, so first, junk, sell all junk, because I remember reading that you can pretty confidently do that without any real fear, sell one of them. Also one of these. Okay, that's Adrena Time. L liquid Caffeine. What? For some reason I thought Adrena Time was like actual medicine. That's lame. Alright, I need to step away real fast. I'll clip the video here, and I'll also clip the stream for just a moment. I'll be right back. 